Hello, and welcome to the first episode of my ARC Beginner's Guide. Uh, I'm not going to lie, the first episode is going to be scuffed, and I want to get feedback from everybody. I just wanted to kind of showcase what you want to first do when you get into the game. I got my server rates at five times. Uh, everything else is nothing. This is just single player. Uh, when you first spawn in, you kind of want to spawn down near either the bottom left is pretty safe, or kind of up near the top right. It can be pretty safe, but sometimes there's dinos around. I kind of spawned uh, not anywhere near where I just said to spawn. But yeah, there's this is for the island. Uh, yeah, you know, like there's rexes that can spawn around here. I just saw a spino over there a little bit ago. But the first thing that you want to do, run around, and just grab some stone, hit some trees. Uh, let's see. I is your inventory, and you can drag things to your hot bar. Uh, up here, you every time you level up. You can level up your stats, blah, blah, blah. Uh, ingram points is what you use to craft things. So you have to learn how to craft a certain item. You can just double click it. Boom, learned. I don't know how to make a stone hatchet now. Uh, you unlock more. You see the number here. You unlock it based on your current level. So as you level up, you can just learn more and more and more. And if you need, like if you see it's yellow here and you need something before you learn it, you just double click on it and it'll say, do you want to learn all the prerequisites? And you say yes. Boom. Okay. Now, let's just go ahead and do the very basics. I'm going to hit V, which will open my crafting. And let's make a pick. You can upgrade your crafting skill if you want, which will also increase your crafting speed of everything you craft. All right, now we can get thatch a lot better with the stone pick. You get thatch and you also can get flint from rocks. Also, you need a pick to get metal from metal, but you'd rather have a metal pick before you go hitting those with stone pick. All right, so we have plenty of resources now. We can go ahead and make a hatchet. And a hatchet is for wood and stone. You can also get a uh, hide better with it when you kill an animal. Let's go ahead and get some wood. Now you'll notice most servers you play, they'll probably have a stack mod if you're playing unofficial. Um, on single player, I didn't enable the stack mod, so this is just very default. So if you're playing unofficial, you're gonna stack in wood 100. It's very irritating. You get encumbered almost instantly, but that's just how it is. All right, let's see what we can learn. We can make some thatch foundations, thatch stuff. Let's go ahead and just make a nice little thatch hut. And I can show you guys how to do that. All right, let's see. I didn't put any points into my, ah! <laughs> this will happen with Ark. <laughs> this is what happens when you're encumbered. gosh all right you can hit o to drop stuff i think i'm gonna die <laughs> see if i had a spear this would be going a lot differently oh i got him wow okay okay arc will sometimes just do that to you all right so i'm using the hatchet to get a uh, hide from him and if you use the pick, you will get more meat. You use meat to tame carnivores. Prime meat is really good for taming carnivores, but mutton is the best. You get that from killing uh, ovies, which are sheep. All right, I have like no health left. Let's see. Let's just eat some food to heal up a little bit. You can hold E down to eat something in your inventory. You can also drag things onto your bar and then just hold that number down to keep eating it. Let's see. All right, back to making the thatch. We're gonna make a foundation. Uh, let's also make a cooking fire. I need to learn it. Campfire. Because we can heal up by a campfire if we 
pick up some meat. Meat will give you health when you eat it. All right. Yeah, like I said, when I was getting attacked by the carnivore, uh, you can hit O to drop things in your inventory if you just don't want them anymore. So, like, if you don't want the seed, just hit O. All right. Place this. Got to put wood in there, and then you light it. And then let's put some meat in there. So, normally with a stack mod, all the raw prime will stack together, and it won't be an issue with spoiling, but on an official server, it'll stack in stacks of one and they have a very fast spoil timer it's like i think five minutes actually maybe four minutes it's pretty fast so people will have to like go out and kill fresh dinos when they want to just keep taming more and more and more that pull it out eat it with e healing up a little bit all right you might hear my uh low health sound a little bit but i'm gonna go ahead and start building the little hat bit more oh there's a spino don't come this way thank you um we're just gonna do a two by two and if you have something already on your bar you can just hit that button again to craft it but i do not have enough resources what do i need wood okay all right now if you're playing on an official server you just don't like have your weight up at all um Thatch foundations and just other foundations in general can get very heavy very fast. Let's just go ahead and drop the stone. And let's drop half the wood. You can shift, drag, left click to cut the wood. All right. So I've got two foundations now. One, two, and let's make another. Boom, right there. All right, now let's see what we need. We want a door frame, a door. Um, need some walls. Let's see how many walls do we need? One door frame. I have to figure it out. You can hit E on a building item in your inventory if you don't want to put it on your bar, and it will just pull it out, and you can place it. All right, wall, wall. Uh, let's see, did I learn window frame? I did not, so let's go ahead. Maybe, I don't know if Thatch has a window frame. Do they? They don't, oh well. But yeah, you can build window frames and put windows in, it's pretty neat. Uh, let's see. Also, when you're crafting, you are slower and you cannot jump. Let's go ahead and get in here. I need four. So I'm gonna do a sloped ceiling because because uh, flat huts just look blah. I also should mention I'm a, I primarily play PVE and I'm a server owner of currently nine servers. Uh, if you want to check them out, feel free to check them out in the links below. Let's see. All right, let's do some roofs. We're going to need some more wood here soon and some fiber. We also want to go ahead and make a bed since we got a bunch of hide from killing that Karno. Now, normally that Karno would probably kill you in about two hits, but I'm doing this on an OP character just for the sake of the video. Uh, in the future, my videos will be on actual legit. I'm going to wipe my character. <laughs> yeah, see, I have 1200 health and that's just not something you'll ever have let's see slip that roof uh can i place it yet i think i need the walls up first all right did i learn storage box i have not what do i need to make a storage box wood and fiber now there are mods that like for instance s plus that we have on our server it will automatically open a door for you and shut it mods can be really handy and they can also really suck sometimes when they update they have issues okay 
Oh man, I didn't get any fiber. See here, I'm trying to teach you guys how to play, and I don't even know how to play. All right. I need to drop some stuff. I've, I've played on a stacking mod for so long, I've completely forgotten how heavy wood really is. I can't believe it's that heavy. <laughs> this whole time, I'm still, like, panting heavily. Can you just stop, man? Just stop. Heal up, heal up. You know what? Let's just stop that. She and the stacks. Don't worry about it. I'll turn it off. I just don't like that sound. All right. Let's craft a storage box. I would advise you if you're crafting to, especially on a PVP server, always close your doors. It's definitely going to be a problem if you don't. How much wood do we have? Only 11. I think I need more to make a bed. Uh, I can make a sleeping bag, actually. Don't need to make a bed just yet. So it's fiber and hide. So the thing about uh, sleeping bags is on arc, you can only use them once and then it'll break. So actually, let's see if we can make a bed instead. Because a bed is permanent. Uh, hide, fiber, thatch, wood. I need a little bit more wood. And now my base, I as you see, I'm building here on the beach. I would actually advise you to never do this. Because, like, especially on a PvP server, people will see your beach base immediately, come kill you, you're done. Um, on PvE, just when you're starting out, it's kind of, it's fine. Um, but, like, wild dinos like Rexes and stuff, if you're just building out a thatch and the resource rates aren't very high, it's just going to get completely demolished. All right, there's our bed. Now let's store some stuff in here so it's not encumbering me. All right, now to finish the house. So you'll need some more walls. Let's see, sloped. Yeah, we need the sloped left and sloped right. Two of each. Now, if you want it to be completely flush, you have to do it in like 2x2, 4x4, 6x6, etc. But if you do it like in a 7x7, you'll have like a, a middle piece that'll be off, which actually can still look pretty cool too. All right. So let's, let's see. How do we want it? We don't want it like this and this. All right, what do I need? Oh yeah, I forgot, you can do this. Uh, hold the number down and it'll show you exactly what you need. So I just need a little bit more thatch. Uh-oh, oh, it's just a Terra. We're good, we're good. Oh, I don't have enough for another one. More fiber. All right, and there's your very first tiny hut that is easily demolishable, especially in PvP. This would take nothing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you have any questions about starting out on ARC or you think I missed something, I'm sure I missed a lot of easy starter stuff, uh, let me know. Um, I'll go ahead and show you what it's like to respawn. So let's see if I can find something to eat me. Oh, there's a Spino. Because when, when you first make a character, you'll have to go through the character creation, but then it will ask you to spawn. And it's your first time. You're not sure where it's good, where it's not. Uh, I would highly recommend never spawning in the north biome. You will indeed die very fast. That's just a fact up there. Uh, if you are wondering how much I have played Ark, 
I played it since the release day. I have currently 2,600 hours in it. I currently do not play it actively. I am mostly a server admin slash server host now. But I still enjoy the game from time to time. Let's see if I can get these tracks to kill me. I have a lot of health. I don't know if this is even going to work. Come here. This might take a minute. Oh, I can punch them to hurt myself even more. Let's do that. Watch it knock them out or something. Oh no, my clothes. Wait, is it actually like torpored him? <laughs> Okay, so when you die, you'll see your bed on the screen. Uh, and here's all the spawn points. Where it says South Zone 1, South Zone 2, South Zone 3. They all quote unquote easy. Personally, I believe South Zone... Let me think about this, hold on. South Zone... I think South Zone 1 is definitely the easiest, especially if you spawn on this bottom left island. If you're starting out, it's a really good spot. If you ever spawn up in North, uh, you're probably just gonna die. There is a really cool lake area right here, though, and I recommend definitely checking it out. Now, when you respawn, most servers have respawn animation, so it takes a second to respawn. And usually within this time, people get end up getting attacked again. <laughs> but yeah, there you have it. There's the video. Uh, if you liked it, feel free to like it. Like I said before, comment below if you think I missed something. I will be covering taming in a separate video. Um, and please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.